Man, one of the coolest dudes I've met. What's your name? Pat Lawler. Pat Lawler. Irish the... Pat Lawler. Irish Pat Lawler. And this is his friend. Thank you. And you have never heard this poem. And this man just shared this with me. I'd love to hear it. Okay. Many people wonder, but few have been told. Why some men step into the ring to fight for the gold. Maybe they come from the ghetto fighting for a better life or trying to put food on the table to feed their children and their wife. For some you think it's all I know, they've been doing it for years. Makes you wonder, have they blown all their money or just to get by to the cheers? As for myself, it was a tribute to honor a close friend who had died. Whoever thought my quest to win a belt would ever take me for such an amazing ride. You see, I've been in this sport for more than 20 years, and I've heard all the boos, the screams, and the cheers. I'm a veteran of this game that you just don't play, which is why I'm writing this poem, so that I might say that it's a physical game of chess with your board being a 20-foot mat, and you know there's been a check made when a body is laying flat. Most of us main buddies, after we put it all out in the ring, it's a strange kind of friendship we share. It's more like a camaraderie thing. And if you're wondering what keeps these guys up after taking that first ride cross on the chin, I tell you they're going to be kinky for the smell of leather, which is how that burning desire to win. So if you ever rock from pillar to post and your only fan comes out of her seat, we just fire back with your best right hand and make sure you first plant your feet. <laughs> when life starts to get funny and the girls who want snuff you suddenly begin to Told speak, you. it's only because they think you got lots of money after eating the paper you've been on a hot winning streak. It's a game that teaches the human you. nature for the only player on the team. Then after you've lost a couple back to back and your phone stops ringing, you sit back and wonder, was it all just some crazy dream? A dream in which I defeated the two of the sport's very best, while getting a middleweight title which is at the peak of my own private quest. But outpointing Wolf of Benitez and stopping Alberto Duran were the two big wins that changed my life, turning the average Joe into a fan. And even though I lost at least a dozen or so more, defeating these two warriors seemed to be my ultimate score. But then soon it got to the point where I didn't want it anymore, being pimped around the globe like some cheap tubid whore. Getting sick and tired of the opponent for hire tour, and remembering how it all started and what I was doing it for. Now some of my friends thought this idea of mine was kind of lame, trying to win a title in a rough, crazy game. I'm sure didn't think I'd ever get too far, being as the last time you saw me, I was sitting with a rock band playing guitar. So I had to get myself in shape and get my priorities in order to win a belt honoring the memory of my friend, my good buddy Merlin Porter. And now that it's all behind me, I'm happy relaxing at home when a friend of mine calls and asks me to write you this poem. To give you a view that's not from a sports writer, but rather from somebody who's been in with the best, a legitimate fighter. So I hope this poem has helped you to see if you're not in shaped squared circles the last place you should be, be, you may soon find yourself here on the old bell chime. Spin. Forget this carnal rule. That's what I protect do. yourself at all times. Yeah, oh, motherfucker! Motherfucker! That was good. Don't forget this man. Don't forget that man.